Hey, 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 hello, hello, hello. I'm not doing no work today, so I'm constantly on YouTube uh, trying to get my views and likes up. So do me a favor, hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button, and that notification button. If you're interested in any of my content, I like to say it's free. We can, you know, it, it, it could potentially, if we like sharing each other's posts, we all can make a few dollars. That's what I'm in it for. But also to give out information, viable information on things that's uh, occurring and that's very alarming and, you know, frustrating. To say the least. So what I wanted to jump on here today was to talk about the cop that was, uh, you know, he supposedly got fired. I don't know if he's a cop. Really, I didn't do the research because it is, to me, it sounds like, it, it feels like a, 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 a stunt for a a YouTube, uh, uh, not for a YouTube check, but for a, uh, a GoFundMe. It's like like the white lady that didn't apologize to the black judge uh, for uh, not sl- shutting down her salon. Okay, this is kind of the same thing, but in a different with a different twist. The police officer was sitting in his squad car. I don't even know if it's a police officer, but it was portraying someone was allegedly being a police officer sitting inside of a, I would guess, a police car, allegedly. But uh, he basically went against the, the, the thin blue line in so many words. He really, you know, when I was first seen it and was checked it out a little bit f- going through YouTube it kind of I was like already in my head yeah you did you, you can't and I know that was everybody's initial reaction when it first came on when they first scrolled across the YouTube and seen a cop saying what he was saying about other cops and how things are being handled and how things going to progress in a major way, which I get it. And that's what I've been on. That's what a lot of speakers is on. That's what, you know, if you need, even if you don't agree with the speaker, agree with the message, if it's the right message. And, but my whole, it goes back. I'm me. I think of a, I think he was already about to get fired, probably, allegedly. I think you seen the interview where the lady got out of jail and she set up a GoFundMe account and she reached over fifty thousand dollars. I'm 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 he he over he passed her, I think one seventy, seventy thousand or something like that. He out past so, so, you know, it's like the government. You don't know who, when the trickery coming in. You don't know. Just like the boy that, uh, uh, you know, if no alleged, he was inside of somebody's property, a homeowner's property. You know, this just came out. I had a lot to say about it, but, you know, I'm with honesty and truth and and you know the man, I you know I, what what can I don't say he deserved to die, but what I do, and I don't think he deserved to be in somebody's residence. <laughs> it's not funny, but the truth shall come out. It, it standing looking around like you gonna steal something. So obviously somebody did see him walk in there. Obviously somebody did try to talk to him. Obviously, he did take off running. Obviously. Black people, you can't get around that. It's on candid camera. He was inside the people's house that don't belong to him. We we all had it made out to be like he was, you know, I'm black. 
we know how blacks enroll. I'm not saying he was still. I don't see no man, no no person. If if I'm going in there, I'm I don't see it. I'm not going in there looking around. If I'm going in there, my intentions, me, back in those days, is to take something. Is to take something. Back in those days, yes, to take something. But do that give him the right to murder him, especially when he's running and he's being trapped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold him until the police get there. If you got a gun, he's scared of the gun. I, that's why he's running. And if three people in the old corral chasing him down on a abandoned street after they seen him in the house. And they got the videotape, but no means necessary. That don't mean murder. That don't mean kill. That don't mean none of that. That don't mean hold the evidence. That don't mean the uh, the white lady that's uh, supposed to, what do they call them, the DA or whatever, whatever, whatever. She didn't want to arrest the first people that wanted to charge the white lady, charge the uh, father, the duo, the father and son that murdered the uh, the jogger. Nobody wanted to put him in jail. That He should have went to jail for murder. You know, if he did, did anything, is he a simple uh, trespass? Trespass don't add up to murder. Murder don't add up to trespass. Facts, people. Facts. White people, if somebody black do something to you that you don't like breaking in your house and you catch them and they don't have a firearm, what you do is call 911, keep your finger off the trigger, keep your finger off the trigger. I'm going to say it like Dr. Umar Johnson, keep your finger off the trigger and use your mouth and communicate with whatever police department, whatever state you're in. Don't take it upon yourself to gun down anyone, no matter the race. I'm sure if that was the shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Therese, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Can't say everything you feel like saying on here. That's why I'm kicked off Facebook for 24 more days. But all I got to say, man, is no Paul. It's sad, but it's reality. It's sad, but it's reality. They got him on videotape, walking in the house, snooping. They got the pole. They got the the white son, the white dad, and the white cameraman on film. So, what is the outcome? Like, share, and subscribe. It's free.